what do you attribute the increase in group revenue to? Mainly growth in mining, mining turnover in South Africa. We have been fortunate to, to gain some additional business in South Africa. And also the international growth of our business in speciality uh, fertilizers, the growth in Zambia. Um, so as, as fundamentally mining is up, chemicals is up. It was a strategy for us to increase our volume in chemicals to get uh, more operational efficiencies. But fertilizer f overall flat due to the drought in the southern, southern African region set off a little bit by some growth in international markets. The chemicals business in South Africa is under a lot of pressure. We haven't seen growth in the mining industry or, or, the, or the, sorry, the manufacturing industry for a long time. And what it does is it puts pressure on the business because your, your, your overheads keeps on going up and, and, your, and your top line doesn't. So for us, the strategy is to, to find new principles to be able to increase our total volumes in, in, in the, the pressed market that we have so that we can effectively try and nullify the, the impact of, of, of the situation. But really the strategy for chemicals is to use our brand and our base business in South Africa, which is a very well-known, well-respected business, to grow our volumes internationally because there are more opportunities in international markets, uh, with specific reference to African markets for, for chemicals. The group, uh, we had quite a few once of events, like the bad debt in, in Angola, for instance. Um, the mining in industry in South Africa remains under pressure. Uh, in Mali, we have a big customer there that we've been ramping up for and they had difficulty starting up, but that's um, normalized now. So, but as a general comment, I think the situation in South Africa remains depressed and a lot of our, our, our business is still South African-based business. Uh, we are heavily invested into assets in South Africa, but that's set off or somehow nullified by international growth. Our international businesses are less asset heavy um, and, um, and, and I can see our international strategy really coming to the fore. Um, we've also spent a lot of attention on our acquisitions, um, improving our governance so that we can run this business on a global basis. And that is really looking good for the future, especially with the Oro Agri and the Mongo acquisitions. The outlook is uh, in South Africa certainly uncertain. I think we are working hard on our uh, improving our efficiencies. Um, but what we do get from South Africa in the mining industry specifically, as well as in, in fertilizer, is we learn a lot from our customers. These are difficult situation or difficult uh, territory to, to mine and to farm. We learn here, we solve for them, and we want to package that into solutions which we can go and market internationally. And that's really our focus, is to, to grow our business on an international basis, on a knowledge, um, rather on knowledge than on products so much.